Hey, it's Rob, and I usually need about seven to eight days to fully understand a new topic that comes with each mod. I'm on track again this mod, so if all goes well, I should be able to pass the code challenge on the first attempt again. And if I do, then I would have passed all of the challenges on the first attempt. Uh, that's a goal I set early on in mod one, and um, yeah, I'm really close now. So I'm gonna keep studying hard and finish strong. I've successfully completed all challenges uh, with the bonus on the first attempt and I that's something I want to really do for like throughout the whole thing and I, I'm really glad I was able to achieve that yeah I'm excited there's only two more projects before we start a whole new journey and um, yeah I think I'm gonna miss this I, I had a lot of fun throughout the entire time I was at Flatiron since day one when I was super new to everything and uh, hashes was terrifying so now I'm able to build a web app with React and React is quite complex so I'm really proud of the progress that we've all made and um I'm excited for possibilities that can come. Uh, so my advice for mod 4 is to make sure you always know what's in your state and what's in your prompt. And um, also, and this gets overlooked a lot, but I feel like it's really important to name your variables, uh, your functions, and your props or keys appropriately uh, because they're gonna get passed around from component to component so if, if you're not consistent with the names or if you're not named well it can very easily trip you up and I feel like that's something that I had to learn the hard way so just like that's that's my advice just make sure you know what's in state what's in props and naming conventions uh, that that's like the three that really help me um yeah aside from that yeah if you know that i think you'll be good <laughs>